here today to tell this story about the first time that I ever experienced something paranormal. So this all happened back in September. Me and my boyfriend just decided out of like nowhere, let's go to Santa Barbara. I'm like, cool, let's do it. And um, he's really the one that did like all of the research and he did not tell me this. But when we got there, I was like, wow, this place is like so beautiful and amazing and like so many antique stores, like this is awesome. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna take you somewhere. And we go up in the mountains to this bar, like just out in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. There's a lot of bikes. Like, it's like a biker bar and there's like musicians and it's like so fantastic. I loved it. And then he had also planned something later that night and he <laughs> he uh, didn't tell me about this, but we were going on a haunted tour. He's the best. He's the absolute best. So we go on this haunted tour and one of the stops that we did not go into, but um, the tour guide pointed out. So um, there's this there's so many haunted spots in this town that I had no idea about and even if like you research it it doesn't come up on the internet so we went to like multiple spots and one of them that was closed for the day was in the I'm gonna mispronounce it so bad I'm so sorry L Presidio de Santa Barbara State Historic Park. And it it's basically a military district that was built in 1782. It was um, later destroyed by an earthquake, but what remains is just, it, it used to be like the shape of a square like this and it's just like buildings and then in the middle it's just like land so what remains is actually just like the first part of a square right and the last room over here is a mill and in this tour that we went on she just pointed it out she's like the last room is the most haunted room of the entire establishment so, the next morning, we decided to purchase the tour. So, this is just how we are as a couple. Um, whenever we go to museums, he tends to like linger on certain paintings or something, and I tend to like look at it, move on, look at it, move on, and we tend to lose each other. And in this case, that's what happened. So he is busy reading stuff, but I'm just like wandering because I want to get to the end, the most haunted room. That's where I want to go. So it's the last room, right? I'm in the third room and I'm reading a plaque. And then all of a sudden I hear the clucking of a hen. And I'm like, I need to leave this and I need to go see that hen. So basically, um, I walk over, it's a room, and then there's a backyard portion, kind of like an apartment. It's very small. And this one in particular, right before the most haunted, right? Um, it has tile, which is really interesting because the rest of them just have dirt floors. And I was reading like, oh, like tile signifies that you have wealth, but I really, my main goal is just to look at this hen because like I love animals and I'm yeah you know, it's so stupid but that's all I really was concerned about so I go outside and I I push the door and it's really stiff like it's like sticking to the floor so I had to like pull it and it's like it took some force and then I step outside and I'm filming the hen and I'm like, oh, what's so cute. It's like making all this noise, all this noise, like, bop, bop, bop. it's so cute. I love it. And then it just stops clucking, goes completely silent. And it looks at the door. And then all 
you hear next is the door slam shut. There was no wind. It was early in the morning. There was nobody else there. And like, I'm just like, you know, like whatever, like wh wh what happened? And then like, I go up to the door, I push on it like this and it won't open. I'm slamming on it. And then all of a sudden, my boyfriend opens the door with ease and I'm like, did you, did you slam the door shut? He was like, no, I just walked in here and it was closed. <laughs> did you do that? What? What? You didn't close the door? Uh-uh. I'm completely home alone right now and I just heard someone slamming. Like, what's going on? But it's just the weirdest thing happened before it. We were both together standing in this church balcony. This is where we were together and before I split up and went further because I really wanted, like I was eager. So we were both in the balcony of this church and he, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a church, that's so disrespectful. And then we hear this crash. Shut up. <laughs> Was that a piece of the ceiling falling on the floor? I feel scared. And it sounded like a ceiling tile fell to the ground. And I also have that on tape. So then we go downstairs and we look around, we look through the seats, and we look at everything, and there's nothing. So I think that we were kind of being like a little disrespectful in the church, and then that happened. So my theory is that I was filming and maybe the spirit or whatever it was didn't like that. So they were fucking with me personally. I don't know. But to tie this all together, I had been like in the previous month, every day, like all day, just been watching this YouTuber, Haley Reese, and she's really open to the spiritual world. And I legitimately fully 100% started believing in this because of her stories that she's told. And I was like, oh, so like you have to be like really open to the spiritual world to like actually experience stuff. And then this happened, God, it's insane. I don't know how to end this video. <laughs> mm -hmm.